Most people skip this crucial step after they buy a new construction home, and I'm guilty of it myself. I actually didn't know any better the last time I bought a new home. I wasn't even a real estate agent at that time, but after selling so many new construction homes and then also selling those that people bought and then selling them a few years later, I've learned that this one step is so crucial and it can help you save thousands of dollars in the long run. So what I'm talking about is what we call an 11 month inspection. You see, most new construction homes come with a one year warranty that pretty much covers everything that could go wrong in the home. So anything with like your AC your plumbing, electrical, as well as small things like cosmetic things, like a little settlement crack in the sheetrock or a little crack in the mortar on the exterior. Those things are common and it happens shortly after you move into the home. The home is still settling. Um, as you start using appliances and your different you know, heating, cooling systems, you might uncover some problems that weren't uncovered beforehand when you were purchasing the property. And hopefully you've done an inspection as well on the, on the home before you bought it. But after you've been in it almost a year in the 11 month, we always recommend getting an inspector to come out and look for every little thing that could be found that's wrong. And at that point, you can take that report and turn it in as a warranty request. So usually like in the case of our builder, they will allow um, the warranty company to come out one time and fix all the settlement cracks that have occurred in the sheetrock. So don't be too picky after you move in and like, oh, I see a little crack, let them fix it. That means they won't come back anymore to fix the others. So just wait until you've been in your home a little bit longer, close to a year, and have someone come out and fix all the little sheetrock cracks, have them come out and fix all the exterior cracks if there are any, and then anything else that was uncovered in that inspection report. Now, I have seen many cases where I've helped someone sell a home a few years later, and even though the home's only like three or four years old, it is shocking what kinds of stuff, just small little things that the builder accidentally skipped um, or things you know came apart or whatever, and the owner is responsible now for fixing those things um, if, you know, if, if they're negotiating repairs. So instead of having different you know, repairs in the future fall on you as a homeowner when you're trying to sell, try to get as much as you can fixed by your builder's warranty while you're st still in that one year period, you're protected then. So that is our advice. And like I said, I wish I had done it when I bought my first home. Um, we actually you know, had to come up with a couple thousand dollars worth of repairs when we did sell. And many of those items were things that the builder should have covered or probably we could have caught if we had done those inspections up front. But I wasn't a real estate agent at the time, so I didn't know any better. But if I had to do it over again, I absolutely would pay for that 11 month inspection. And I am planning on doing that now in my new home. Um, we are already seeing cracks and things on our walls. And so we're just waiting until we get a little further along and then we're gonna get it all patched and repaired under warranty. Now, as I mentioned, you should always do other inspections up front first. If you want more information about those or just information in general about buying a new home, check out our other video.